Okay, good evening everybody. This is the October 16th meeting of the Nottingham Conservation Commission. It is uh, 710 at this point and we have a quorum with uh, myself, Sam Demerit, the chair. Uh, to my right is uh, Deb Kim. Kimball, it's been one of those days, uh, who is the vice chair. Uh, we have Paul Meliotis on my left and sitting in from for uh, Sue Mooney is Liz Katowski, an alternate, so she will be a voting member at this time. We have guests in the audience. We have uh, just arriving uh, Dan Curran from Bepaw Regional Greenways. We have uh, John Tenenko, uh, Lynn. Nottingham landowner. We have Sheila Abrams, a former member of the commission, and we have, and I keep forgetting your name. This is my first time. Oh, it's your first <laughs> time. Okay. He and looks you, a little like Jim Salji. And you are? Christian Matthews. I live here in Nottingham. Okay. Hi, Christian. Welcome. Welcome. Do you uh, spell your name with two T's or one? Which name? Matthews. Two. Okay, thank you. Okay. Okay, uh, for announcements, the big thing is the, uh, well, i got two things coming up. We have the LRA w, uh, LRWA annual meeting on the 27th, the annual spaghetti dinner. Where we'll, they will uh, um, honor the water testers, uh, the BRAP program. And <clears throat> the cost of that is 10 bucks. It's, uh, it starts at 6 the meal will be at 6.30 and the program will be at 7. Uh, the water testers don't have to pay. They get in free. Um, <clears throat> the other announcement is the um, sign up for the NHACC annual meeting has been pushed back uh, for the early bird to this coming Friday, uh, the 20th. So we can... Uh, Sign up for twenty fifty five dollars. The meeting is over at uh, Pembroke Academy uh, uh, on the fourth of November, and I think registration starts around eight. And Kristen said she was interested in attending this year. Not sure who else. Okay. I don't know if I can make it. I'm going to rearrange the budget here. I mean the uh, as a, uh, agenda. agenda here a little bit, seeing as how uh, Dan Kern is here. And, Wants to talk about something, I guess. Yeah, you want to talk about Kenner? Do you want to talk about uh, John Tenenko about or any? Uh, well, we should talk about any of any of those. Um, do you want to start with Mr. Tenenko's? Sure. Because I well, I sent over a draft easement for town review that I drafted on essentially on your behalf. through it or you want to get town review first John and I have worked on it together to this okay. point. Um, when was that email was that emailed or just I think it was emailed yeah well, I you don't remember the date I mean, I know. it would have been after the six but here's the here's a paper copy of it oh, okay Let's see if that's I could check yeah I'm oh, sure I have right. it here just the one I've got here is the uh, kind of property. I sent one of those as well. So. Okay. And she'd be right too. She'd be there. Let me see. I can find the date. Maybe I do. Okay. So as long as John is here and you're here, why don't you start with John? <laughs> or, or his property in it. The well, it's, you know, we're talking about 15 acres having a uh, farm mm -hmm. and we talked about 50 grand for yep. doing that and Dan worried about all the legal stuff in terms of how the document is written uh, yeah this is the survey that was done for the um, the BRP easement that uh, Don had done with the NOCS 
And so the, the 15 acres in the upper left-hand corner, 15.35 uh, acres, uh, adjusted with a, a, some survey work that um, um, Peter Landry had done on the um, northern corner of the property. We'll adjust the property slightly. Um, so it's an eight-foot slip on where it was measured on a wall. Oh, OK. But you, you'll see in the conservation easement that we take that into account. Okay. Um, with the property description, but so the, the easement would cover that area, and we used our um, standard template to draft it for the town being the grantee and John being the grantor. Um, has all the typical use limitations, um, you know, no subdivision, no, no mining and things like that, but agriculture and forestry would be allowed, and um, Probably the only um, departures that we have or um, differences with kind of like a standard conservation easement that we would normally draft um, was the inclusion of uh, the right to maintain and repair and replace an existing um, cabin that's located on the property, mm -hmm. um, 200 square feet, and that's on um, page six. It's in the woods, so you can't see it. Yeah. In the woods, you can't see it. You wouldn't know it was there if you didn't know. Um, but that's on page six, um, reserve right 3C, and then also um, 3D. Um, John wanted to make sure that he had the reserve the right to camp on the property or to allow a camping kind of site on the property. And that's in um, oh, yeah. top of page seven. Yeah. Reserve right 3D. But all the other um, typical provisions of the easement are the same as we typically uh, would include. Um, but I think I recommended that your town attorney look it over. To make sure okay. And then obviously the commission look it over to make sure it included it, all the conditions and terms that you wanted to see there. And just sort of a comment, I think you all know that uh, I own 270 acres and I, I'm in on a wetland reserve program for 48 acres, no that's wrong, 100, 104 acres. And when it's all done, I, I will have uh, roughly 200 acres under easements, and the only thing not eased is my house lot. Great. So that's my contribution to keeping trees. Okay. <laughs> and habitat for, right. for, crit for, for critters. critters. Right. Yeah, so this might not have gotten forwarded to the whole commission. I sent it to Sam and Sue. Okay, so that's uh, why. Six. Okay. Yeah, I don't have the whole list of the commission. Okay. Yeah, I generally, you know, do that, but I must have missed that one because I don't remember. Yeah, I have all these Sen canards, but I yeah. never okay. know why I have canard, canard, canard. Yeah, I can forward it if you give me the list of stuff if you want. Yeah, I, can, I can forward you the list of. Okay. Or you can just forward it to us, Sam. Yeah, I can forward it to you. There you go. I just. Just missed it on some reason. But you know, conveniently, the, the, the survey has been done, so that's that's not something that has to be uh, completed. And so, once the uh, language is reviewed and approved by the town and by John, um, we can proceed to schedule a closing. Uh, he'll do the baseline documentation report on the town's behalf. And what you have there is fine by me, so uh, unless you change something. Uh, I think we're wanting to go with the, with your wishes on that. Yeah, anyway, we're, not, so. we're not certainly going to change anything. I have a, a question about um, the, it says there's to be a stewardship plan, and I wondered who would be doing that stewardship. Yeah, so what it does is it requires a plan to be in place for any kind of commercial activity um, or substantial activity. And so that would be John's responsibility if you were going to do uh, a commercial forest 
management or if he were going to do commercial agriculture, he would have to put a plan in place to, to cover it. Uh, for forestry, we require a, um, a licensed forester to prepare the plan and then also a, a licensed forester to supervise the work um, on a commercial basis. But for harvesting firewood or doing small scale wildlife habitat improvement and things like that, we generally don't require um, a plan. But but again, the, the town will be holding this easement, so you'll want to make sure that language reflects the, 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 the you know the desires of the conservation commission. So and, and it includes the town's ability to put some trails in. Um, I think it said that. Yeah. It it allow well, so actually with that 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 language doesn't uh, allow the town to put um, trails in, but it it uh, what it does is it says that if. Um, John and the town agreed to have a trail somewhere on the property that was open to the public. We'd like to, we would ask, it, again, if we were holding the conservation easement, any kind of trails for public use, we would require a plan, um, just to make sure there aren't any erosion issues or if someone's not gonna put a trail through a, through a wetland or something like that. But um, it, that's, that would, the town would be the easement holder in this case, and they'd decide what level of plan you guys want. Walk the some of the trails on the 107 acres. So we will, the town will be the easement holder? Yeah. 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 yeah we're just, and, and I've linked that to the uh, 15 acres. Yeah. Yeah. My concern was that there is a section in the field area that has some plants that are state listed and <coughs> some orchids nearby in that same area that aren't listed that are unusual. Yeah. And so I would, one, I guess I would ask that that section not be mowed, or at least not mowed until the end of the season. And, and, and the 80 acre piece, which is on, uh, that's not you guys, that's the women, get that question. <laughs> okay. And then, and then there, it, there. Do, do we, is that area marked or indicated some way, sensitive? No, it's no. And I Only know where Celia know, but should there be so others could be aware of it? You know, just you know. Just. So, so just so my suggestion would be that if if that's an interest of the town as easement holder and and John's in agreement, then you if you want to preserve that that um, area, you know, indefinitely through the easement, then we would add language. Um, Again, John and the town would have to agree on that language, but you could add uh, a section to the purposes that would, you know, highlight the uh, preservation of those species on the property, and then, um, you know, we would probably uh, add some sort of, you know, management. Yeah, um, yeah because if, if you stop managing it, it's going to disappear, yeah. so it needs to be mowed a little bit. And then there's the grassland birds issue too, whether there might be no. some nesting yeah. bird habitat that yeah. should be delayed. Yeah, and I'm leaving five acres roughly for the summer birds. Grassland birds. Yes. So so the trick is though is you know, as you So manage so some wildlife management for flora and fauna in particular areas, but I guess maybe it should be yeah. specific to I don't remember. Did we put anything like that in there? We didn't put anything like that in. I mean, there's some general terms in there about um, um, pr protecting. Um, it's up to you, like John. That. But um, but two things. Uh, you know, if it takes management to sustain the population, the question is, who's going to be responsible for that? You know, John is willingly doing that now, but you know, 100 years from now, 200 years from now. He, he, he probably is not going to be around, right? Who's going to... hundred I'll be here, but... <laughs> who's going to be responsible for... You know, so I guess what I'm trying to say is you got to craft the provisions that it's workable for, for the future. Um, it can't be so, so specific. You know, especially because if it's a management um, issue like that, it's... I mean, the question is, do you want to hold the grantor responsible for not mowing? So... Could something be just encouraged? So something in there just to state, um, I don't know. Currently, the the easement has been 
managed for particular wildlife species. It would be encouraged by future landowners, but of course not, you know, left open. I don't know, something. So they would know. So something in there that, because somebody might be interested, but they yeah. just might not know. And if it's in there, they say, oh, okay, this sounds pretty cool. Maybe we'll, we'll do this or something. Yeah, we could but. document it in the baseline documentation report, and then at least it would kind of carry forward with it as long as it wasn't sensitive information. Mm -hmm. you know, in theory, the baseline will be public. Um, especially if it's held by the town. So how, how do you feel about that? Because on the 80 well, acres, we're not making public what's there. No. Um, yeah, I, I hadn't given that a lot of thought. Yeah, well, and we can talk a little bit if you want between now and the yeah. next meeting. I mean, it's, it's kind of interesting that you can't let the public know there's some rare plants <laughs> well, it, the reason is because some of these plants are traditionally dug up and sold because people can get money for, for yeah. them. Yeah. And so that's why the locations are not disclosed. But if, if everything's left and not managed, they may not Survive. exist. They're surviving because of yeah. the... Yeah. Current. It was was managed at one point for New England Cottontail. Was that the? Well, that's for the uh, 107 acres. Yeah. So it's there's, not. There's, this 30, there's 30 acres that got cleared. Right. For that, but right. they haven't deposited any bunnies yet. Ah, uh, okay. And, right. none of, and none of them moved in, right? <laughs> right. <laughs> and none of them moved in. That's my. my you question. don't have any squatting about any bunnies. Yeah. Right? I, there's bunnies, but not the right kind. Yeah, the there's, there's, snowshoe. there's snowshoe here, too. But, um, you know, what we could do is I could add a um, section on um, certain types of species of animal uh, plants. Okay. Um, I think the only thing we could probably do is to, to um, try to discourage someone from managing in a way that would um, harm them. But I think you probably, it's going to be difficult for you to require them know a particular area or something yeah. going forward but but um so you know it's, it will, oh, it, if you don't mow it then it grows up and it, it sounds like the conditions that allow these plants to exist will no longer be there mm -hmm. um but we could just add language that like yearly mowing encouraged or something yeah something or, or trying to take into account the species that are known to be on the property when managing I mean, that way at least it would be brought to someone's attention. And obviously you could, you know, notify new landowners as they come in um, that there, you know, are these unusual features to the property and then, you know, work with them voluntarily. Okay. It's a lot easier to deal with these things that you, where you, you know, lack, you know, you don't have to manage to, to, to have things persist. It's, that you can prevent them from doing something that will, you know, harm the species, but trying to make them do something that will encourage it. You know, yeah. Keep the species around is, is a lot more difficult. I know that's a relatively small area. I mean, who's ever on the on the commission at that point could could probably do a small mowing. Slip up at night and put a fence around. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's the thing. I mean, there are easements out there that do for that where the easement grant or the grantee would be permitted to mow or some yeah. something like that in particular mm -hmm. sections of the property. Um, mm -hmm. But that it does get into some management issues and some long-term kind of relationship issues mm -hmm. that we may not want to okay. get into. But um, just time-wise, do you have a goal for completing this? I think we talked about before the end of the year. <coughs> well, you know, well, we have the money in the budget, so I mean, that's uh, I'm not in the budget in the conservation fund, so I mean, that's it's there, uh, designated for, you know, some of that money is designated for this purpose. So, um, if it gets done. Yeah, you know, the end of the year, fine. Uh, the money's there. If it doesn't get done till after the first of the year, the money's still there. So it's okay. not, not a, a problem.
problem with the money going away. It's you know it's going to be there. So it's just a matter of when everything, all the attorneys get together, you know, decide that that's fine, and uh, we have the public hearing, you know, sometime in the near future. Dan, I'm just still learning about these things and yeah. what what the roles are of each party. Now, John is the owner of the land and the grantee. Yeah. Count of Nottingham will be the. Actually, it's the, he's the grantor. He's, of, he's oh, of course. Yeah. He's right. He's the, the, the grantor. The town will be the grantee of the easement. So yeah. we will and we'll be the holder of the easement. Who has executory interest? There's no executory. There's interest. none. Okay. You know, we, we just went through Bear Park because we don't have the expertise on the board to do all this. Yeah, we're facilitating so you're the facilitating process. it. Yeah. yeah. But okay. And we'll also so we we um, will draft the consolidation easement and include the property description from the surveys. Mm -hmm. We'll also do the baseline documentation report um, mm -hmm. that kind of uh, documents the property at the time of the easement and then. Okay. Will help arrange for the closing and stuff so that you have all the paperwork that you need. But there are other easements in town where you do hold the easement. Yeah, we typically have, we do. Okay. This is this is a this was. Um, it's, it's not typical for us to act as a kind of like a contractor. But you're helping us on this one and the Shippy Rice one. And well, the Shippy Rice one, we are the easement holder. Ah, oh, okay. And the town okay. is the executory interest holder. Okay. okay. Oh, okay. this is good to know. I'm trying to put together a little yeah. spreadsheet <laughs> and uh, try to figure this out. So, w and, and actually, so we'll manage the projects in the exact same way. The only difference will be uh -huh. is the Shippy Rice one will hold the easement and the town will be the executory interest holder. Okay. But we'll do all the same work. On the counter, uh, you know, the town owns the property and Bear Paw will be the easement holder. And there's no executory interest. On um, which one? The the, the counter. Counter. Yeah. Okay. Thanks. Yeah. The only time that we've run into executory interest holders on public property easements is when we've um, used an outside funding source of some sort to acquire a property that becomes mm -hmm. a town owned. Like Fish and Game or NRCS or yeah. whatever. Yes. Okay. Any questions on that from anybody on the commission? I'll, I'll, I'll forward this to uh, Chris so he can get it to the town attorney. And okay. Yeah, that would be great. And so Shippy Rice would be the next logical one. Look at that. And I did bring copies of that in case people didn't get it. Here's the survey. Survey and easement. And so this survey was done by um, Brown Engineering. So this has been drafted with uh, Raylene and Dale. And we've agreed on the language that we brought to the town. Oh my goodness, it's not. There's a box. And so the language is almost identical as John's, at least in a general sense. Um, with the easement being granted from uh, the Dale and Raylene as trustees of their trust to bear paw with an executory interest to the town of Nottingham. And then the differences are in section one with the purposes. Obviously, the property is different, so we have different purposes, but uh, it's to protect you know, the forest that's along the, the river. It also abuts some conservation land that this helps 
to build on the forest wetlands reserve program conservation easement. <coughs> and it also has undeveloped frontage on the river, I guess about 500 feet, and a limited amount of frontage on Garland Road that's going to be part of the easement. The, uh, if you look at the survey, um, you can see that um, most of the frontage is, is within the envelope that includes the house, which is about two acres, which is kind of standard for us. Um, there is uh, the easement that comes up, with, there's like a, an old lane that goes down the um, north west side of the property yep. down yep. towards the river. Yeah, I, I always wondered whether which, whose property that was on, whether that was on our yeah, that's, wharves. that's Ray Lane. Okay. At least according to our surveyor. Okay. And Ray Lane. Uh, but the, the use limitations are the same. You know, any kind of commercial management requires a plan, um, including agriculture, forestry, although it's a fairly small property, so there's limited management activity. How many acres is it? I can't really. 8.55? It's about 11 in all, 8.55 in easement, and then two something in, in the excluded area. Yeah, Probably the most valuable part of the property is the frontage on the river. Mm -hmm. It does add um, to the area that we've already protected with the Kimball property and the properties that the town owns further down the North River. And we're hopeful to, to kind of build on this in that vicinity. Along the river. Yeah, we are too. <laughs> that's, that's part of our Fort General Greenway uh, initiative. That yeah, there's a fair, I mean, it's not a huge area, but it's a pretty large area that's not easily accessed. You know, a lot of the, one of the beauties of, um, well, one of the positive parts of kind of the old fashioned development scenario is, you know, developing the easy frontage first. And so you've got all these, these houses along Garland and these other roads that kind of chew up all the frontage. And so it's really difficult uh, for people to get out beyond them. Um, but eventually they will if we, if we don't protect it. But so then the, the standard um, easement terms are the same. You know, no structures unless they're related to ag or forestry. No um, mining, which includes, you know, gravel or rocks and stuff. Um, no outdoor advertising and no dumping. And I don't think we had any um, add, we didn't add any reserve rights. Um, our standard um, for these types of projects is included in section 4 on page 7, which is a deed restriction that ties the house area to the easement area just so we have a local landowner that's managing the property and um, it doesn't kind of become a, a management issue for us. So does it end up being more like a deed restriction since it's a smaller property? Is that what you no, mentioned? No, no. So what happens is, is we actually, the, the easement covers the area in the back there that's shaded on the survey, mm -hmm. but we also tie the area that has the house that's on the, so there's, there's no restrictions on the front area with the house, but we do tie the easement area and the house area together. So they can't be, so sold, they can't be sold separately. Okay. So, so whoever owns the house will always own the land. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. And that way, for at least the, the logic behind it is that, that we've got a local landowner who's going to care for the property um, rather than, you know, having the potential that that piece be sold to a, you know, a logging outfit or someone who's just interested in the, the forest products on it would buy it, strip it, and then kind of just leave it there. Now, do we have that same arrangement with your property, John? His is not or? the same in the sense that he owns so many pieces in that area yeah. um, that um, I think it would be difficult to tie them all together. And in, the, um, in particular, the WRP easements don't have that kind of language at all. Mm -hmm. So those parcels uh, yeah, Most of my stuff is WRP. Yeah. But the, the fact that they are all protected, there is some advantage to that because it would be affordable, you know, to be able to purchase them all in, in, in one package, which probably wouldn't be the case if they weren't protected already. Mm 
But so then the town's executory interest is in section eight or nine, and it just grants the town the um, the ability to enforce the terms of the easement if we fail to. And then the rest of the sections are really kind of boilerplate that we include in all our easements. And it talks about arbitration and enforcement and things like that. But I guess we would request that, that that also get reviewed by the town and get it in feedback. Um, we would like to close that before the end of the year, okay. if possible. Okay. 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 Can do both of them. Once they're on a roll, it might be more, you know, convenient for yeah. Gloria to look them over. Mm -hmm. With any kind of luck, we can maybe have a, a hearing on all three properties at the same date or something. Yeah, or maybe you could do it at your next meeting. That way you wouldn't have to come separate. Yeah, in November. Yeah. Get it wrapped up meeting. by the end of December. In, in the terms of the, all the easements are very similar, so they, they probably would save some time and effort to have them reviewed around the same time. Yep. And then I guess the last thing I wanted to cover was Bernard. Even the uh, Turn of events in town um, with the issues with conveying the conservation easement, we were um, hoping to just have the town compensate us for the work so far, and then I got this one. Oh, you got that one. Here's the. Thank you. Actually, this is probably different than that draft. Oh, okay. I think I think it was updated. So the, the property's been surveyed. I changed the title on the survey um, so that the, it just has the town of Nottingham on it. And so there's really no reason why you couldn't go ahead and record the survey as is. And that way, at least you'd be on record with the property ownership that you have there. Okay. And then if, you know, if the town approves the conservation easement um, in the, at the next town meeting, then we could go ahead and we'll just refer back to the recorded survey when we do the property description. So that would be in the spring, you're saying? We would do if, that? if that's how the town chooses to proceed. Yeah, you know, the, you know, the, there's been some question about the purposes of, of why we bought it, so. Okay. Apparently the so, yeah, so that question yeah, so I was trying to follow it, then I got busy with the whole piece of there was a letter that stated they had in family intended for easement and all that. So Yeah, so at least my, my knowledge of the the uh, um, situation was that uh, Ron Kennard came to Bearpaw and to Phil and I think eventually Sam as well to, to um, convey the property to the town of Nottingham uh, for their ownership and was willing to to sell it at a reduced rate as long as it was um, conserved. And I guess none of that was, uh, although was, there were discussions to that effect with the Board of Selectmen and the Conservation Commission, it wasn't included as part of the purchase and sale agreement or uh, the deed. And so there's some question as to whether it's enforceable. And so I think um, the town administrator had recommended along well with the and I can't speak for the town but I think the town's attorney recommended that it be brought to a town meeting or an official vote of the town to, <coughs> to approve the conveyance of the easement is that more or less it yeah I think that was it yeah, yeah. I, Cheryl had Cheryl wrote something had, yeah. about that it right she didn't feel it needed that yes um, she suggested that we could uh, we could uh, go to the Kennard family and say that that was his intent, and that would provide solidification without micromanaging. Ron, Ron's still around. He's, he's over in Lee, so. Yeah. So can we just, so that, just getting yeah. a hold of him? Yeah. 
Yeah, but I mean, I think that's an well, easier. I, yeah, so, so the difficulty becomes because it's a town-owned property now, and in essence, you'd be giving, you'd be donating the easement to Bear Paw um, on the property, and so there's a question of the the ability of the town to do that. I, I would argue okay. that that because there was a, a verbal agreement to do it, and that that subjected the property to that, um, I would say it's probably okay to proceed. But but I, I think you know conservatively, it, it may make sense to bring it to town meeting just to make sure so that it's not challenged in the future because it could be. Mm. And certainly, if something else came of it, like people wanted alternative use for the town or something, that would make other people think twice if they were going to be donating a property yeah. to be kept in, you know, from development. And that was his intention to be easement. But yeah, and it depends on you know, as you, you probably have as many opinions as you do attorneys, but but you know. <laughs> Yeah. Our attorneys always advise us that even when we have um, verbal agreements with folks, they're binding, um, regardless of whether they um, been memorialized in writing or something. But but you know you're always safer to have a clean vote and, and have the town approval and then have to worry about it later. Have to worry about it being okay. challenged. Mm -hmm. You know, okay. if you think about it, the, going through the town process is probably almost costless. But if you were challenged and you ended up having to defend in court, you could spend a lot of time and money trying to defend it. Okay. So your advice is go for the town well, meeting. Well, my advice is probably go along with your town attorney. <laughs> <laughs> okay. But I might not agree with them. How's that? <laughs> okay. But so we submitted a, a request yep. to get compensated though. Yep. To have you pay for the survey and the work that we've done. Because yep. you do get the benefit of the survey, even if you don't proceed with the um, conservation easement. And um, we did draft the easement. I would also recommend that if you're going to bring the, um, the easement to town meeting, that we probably try to finish drafting it so that people have um, a good draft to review as part of the process. If they have questions or, or anything. That way, you know, if people ask about it, they'll know exactly what what the situation is. Okay. But again, that's in the same exact form as John's, the Rice, uh, Shippy Rice easement, and and so, you know, if you had your town attorney look at it, it, yeah. it wouldn't be much to, to review, actually. Okay. Okay? Yep. That's all I have. Okay. I think there was a fourth thing, but I can't remember. <laughs> Another easement out there. Yeah. Oh, may I ask you a quick question, Dan? Yes. There's, the, there's this um, information that was circulated yes. through the New Hampshire Land Trust. Those people do not um, know the property. What is the C? Coalition? Oh, okay. About yes. wanting yeah. to document for um, the, you know, all the municipal yeah. conservation yeah. lands. Oh, okay. Yeah, they're Are doing you that. contributing information to that that would cover uh, we could do that Nottingham, for or should we be doing that? I, I think yeah. essentially it's whoever holds the, the property or the easement um, is responsible, but we'd be happy to help you folks if you, if you want it. Okay. Um, I think most of your stuff is probably in there already, um, but we could proactively try to put um, some of these in there as well so that they're in there as part of this roll up that they do because what happens is granite is I think the, the, the database is administered through UNH but they oftentimes don't have money mm -hmm. um, yeah. to pay people to enter data <coughs> so they have these um, periodic grant opportunities where they're getting funding to pay someone to do it and so mm -hmm. if you have any that you want to have included, now is the time to send it in and get it submitted so that it's in the next update that they do. Okay. Just wasn't sure whether, like, you and CELT would be handling yeah. well, Nottingham we properties that you're involved with. Yeah. And um, we can help you report the one that you're doing with John because that will be in by the time that they finish the data. And um, 
will do should be rice, and you could do canard. I can help you do canard as well as as a town-owned property, even if it's not covered by an easement. They, if it's intended for conservation, they like to have it in there. All the previous oh, ones so probably are already in there. Easement. I feel like mm -hmm. we've been on all the previous for ones six, that have been closed years. on. Or I think um, if you. I haven't, yeah, I haven't looked okay. at the actual message that much, um, but in the past they've actually printed maps and provided them to the town so that you can review them, but you can go on Granite online and look as well. It'd be, you know, it might be nice to, if you have a list for the town, if someone would go through and check off to make sure they're all there. Mm -hmm. Okay. Good city of process. We're up to 65 or so properties across the 11 towns, so wow. it can take some time to make mm -hmm. sure they're all in there and reported correctly. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. All right. Thank you for coming. Yeah. Yeah, have a good night. See you. Stay warm. See ya. Bye. Bye. Okay. Uh, all right. Well, that's there. That's there. Um, Okay, we've got the the budget forms for the 2018 budget. Um, okay, go, let me go through these line by line, I guess. Uh, item one is the, is the postage. Um, <clears throat> we budgeted thirty dollars so far. We've spent eleven. Um, we may be spending some more to notify the uh, owners Highlands. of the, uh, the Highlands people, and uh, yeah, no, mainly the Highlands okay. people, I guess. Um, what do you normally spend on that? How many people are there? There's about nineteen property owners on in the Highlands, I think. Okay. Uh, they have the deed restrictions on them. So, uh, I, I'm probably recommending we keep keep the thirty yeah. dollars mm -hmm. in there. Printing, uh, we didn't expend any this year. Mm -hmm. We had uh, we had spent twenty one in twelve, forty eight in twenty fifteen, none in twenty sixteen. Uh, we budgeted twenty. I'd probably keep, keep that the 20. same. Okay. Uh, but for next year, if we're doing things, say, with trails or trail booklets yeah. or something like that. Yeah. Right. We might, or maps, we might need something. Yeah, with that, and if we did that, that okay. would be more. Okay. Uh, dues to, uh, to organizations. Um, I do have the, the 1918, uh, 2018 dues for the New Hampshire Association of Conservation Commissions, and it's Three hundred and thirty-three dollars uh, next year. The biggest one. That's the biggest one. Uh, Bear Park is a hundred. Lampert River Watershed Association is a hundred. Um, and if we want to do the um, New Hampshire Association of Wetland Scientists, is it? That's the one. They, they, they sometimes have some uh, uh, yeah, workshops that uh, we can go to for a reduced rate if we're members, and it it more than saves the cost of the. Uh, what was theirs? Hmm? What was that one? Fifty? Wasn't that? No, no, it was about twenty or twenty-five. Oh, okay. All right. Uh, so. I'm looking at uh, 333, so it's, and the 200 is, is 533 plus 25. Has Celt ever asked for no money? No. So 558. Yeah, it is 558. Five fifty-eight. Okay, so we'll put five fifty-eight on. I, okay, I think we had five sixty last year. So well, let's round it. <laughs> okay. Okay. All right. Let me uh, just. Uh, uh, N H A C. 
CC is, or I can do this afterwards, 333, I'm going to 100, no, no, I'll add a WRD 100, and then I'll figure out what this other one is and go put that monitor. Okay, conferences and training. Uh, Let's see, we've spent 120 out of the 500, but we got the NHACC annual meeting coming up. I'm planning to go. Uh, Liz, are you uh, going? Not this year. No. I'm not sure I can go. It depends on if I'm around that weekend. I may have yeah. to okay. head down to Kent. Such a good take if yeah. we yeah. can get some people yeah. there. When I go, I'm always happy that I went. Okay. I'll, uh, I'll well, Kristen leave said she might because, go. Because we do have, we also have the... Uh, saving special places in the spring mm -hmm. and there may be other things that come up so mm -hmm. I'll leave the 500 in there. Okay. Um, publications. Uh, we've had 50 in the budget. We spent $6 so far. We may you know, spend, may get something with the uh, the annual meeting so what do you mean what's publications what do you mean uh, books that? books that we oh okay okay mm -hmm. that, all right that we pick up and so what did you have for that one we again? had 50 last year uh, keep it at 50, 50. Uh, we've spent six so far but okay. um, <clears throat> mapping uh, we had 200 uh, on the on the budget last uh, this last year we didn't spend any yet, and we, I don't know if there's, I thought we had talked about some maps or something. We were thinking of doing some mapping, but then we, oh, we were going to try to, wait, what's this? Well, if, if, were we thinking about um, asking the, the Regional Planning Commission? Do we have to pay them? Money if we have we to make do maps have to pay first. them a fee. They do give you like one. Isn't there so many that you get for free? Like maybe one or yeah, two, and two then you pay for the rest. Was that one? Yeah, two. I'll leave it in there anyway. It's yeah, 200. I would leave at least two hundred in there because we could. Mm -hmm. okay. And what would happen if we decided we wanted to do a lot more with mapping in the next year? Because of we would have to uh, probably uh, take it out of some other spot in the budget. We can move stuff around. Okay, we can move stuff around. Right. Yeah. We wouldn't have to, yeah. have to ask so like for an if amendment we, particularly. If we only spent 300 on conferences because we've got 500 for con so something like that. We could okay. take it out of somewhere else. Yeah. Um, but let me add, taking that a little bit further with this trails program, if we you know do something with it in this next year, which we very well might, at least for one of the trails, and we to put money into like a kiosk or little bog bridges or something like that, yeah, we'll never have like if we needed like a thousand to build a kiosk, yeah. we wouldn't, ha we couldn't do that with our budget. We would need to find money through a grant. That would have to be a grant. Yeah. Okay. So we can't just either that or we have for to twice go to as special. Much this year yeah. We would have to. Particular project. If we didn't do a grant, we'd have to go to special no. meeting, annual meeting, to actually yeah. say this is what we, we want to do. This so we need we money for, and they might just, say, you know. Or just hold off uh, on it if we know what it you know, what it is and what we're putting up. We can mm -hmm. hold off until the following year. Yeah. And put okay. It up but more likely year. we'd be out seeking yeah. grant money for that. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. Yeah. Uh, river sign maintenance. Uh, the, the Boy Scouts, I think, still have a bunch of our signs that uh, haven't been put up yet. How many years has that been going on for? I feel like every year there's. Yeah. Every... Yeah, they did get up one on. Um, Kelsey, is it Kelsey Green? I've seen one somewhere. Maybe we should try to coordinate that with mm -hmm. them, and we would go out with them to help mm -hmm. on that project. Like yeah. Set a date or something like that. Yeah. Removed from that. But I was uh, at one point. Uh, I was thinking of uh, putting up the the signs on the protect the protected river signs. Yeah. Uh, on uh, 152 where the North River crosses uh, twice and I had put I think it's I'd looked into it and it's about hundred and fifteen dollars per sign and you need two you know one facing each way on each crossing 
So I so figured like I'd do it. 500 for the four uh, signs? Yeah, it'd be 460 for all of them, <clears> but I was figuring doing two of them one year and then two of them the next year okay. or something like that. So I put in 230. 230, uh, yeah. Oh, okay, yeah. good. Did you have a comment or question? I had a question. So I'd seen on the agenda the newsletter a couple of times, the whole trail mapping. Um, so what was the general idea for that program? We were looking at some of the town-owned properties or properties that we hold easements on and uh, putting some uh, walking trails uh, on them. Uh, we've been out on Mulligan Forest recently and we've done the uh, Miriam Daggett uh, property up on um, Freeman Hall Road and the Tasca property which it comes out on the Priest Road. But they're they're both connected to each other behind the uh, recycling center. So there's one goal I think w along with those properties that go behind the recycling center, and then there's a trail near the school, and there's that little tiny easement on the school property underneath the power lines. Is getting some trail to connect those properties together, so it's not just like oh, here it ends, oh, that one ends, to have something that could connect them all, and that's a goal, a future goal for that that we are working on. Mm -hmm. And then the other one, like with something like Mulligan, which has trails, um, is really the upkeep. And we usually do that one with the Fernald family. We have done trail maintenance with the Fernalds um, for, for them. And, you know, the other question is, could there be other trails? W you know, but it would be up to them to, we'd have to go through the landowner for any new trails or something like that. Yeah, like behind the behind the transfer station recycling center, there's quite a bit of property back in through there, um, and we've been walking that and kind of just assessing it and trying to see what could we do for say a trail or a trail network in through there. You know, it wouldn't be anything very well developed. It, it would be a simple, probably walking trail with a little bit of signage and that area actually has some very interesting archaeological uh, I wasn't able to sites. get out there, yeah, really. There was, yeah. There was and an old dam out there. And, yeah. Uh, and so the hillside, we, yeah. Had, we went out there with somebody from the Historical Society. So we're, we're really at that exploratory stage mm -hmm. right now, but we'd like to do more. You know, we're all just volunteers, and most of yeah. us are either working or we're retired and we old, have these older ideas. and aren't exactly building. But right, getting, we know getting other groups, like people have told us, well, there's groups that might be able to help you out and there are like through the stewardship yeah. network, we could put something out there like, hey, we have this idea, but I think even before we do that, we'd have to draw up the path itself. Like this is where it's gonna go. You gotta, you gotta have all your And then get volunteers together. In a row. We, you know, we don't have a trails committee at the moment, but we're talking about how would we step that up. It's it's pretty fuzzy mm -hmm. at the moment. Are you interested in that trails section? Is that? I, I, I guess I was just interested in the the second step, which is I think what you're talking about, which is actually making maps and getting that. Yeah. Do you know how to make on, maps? Online or? as well, I'm guessing, because I on the town website I can't find anything about. Mm -hmm. That's right. There's yeah. no, there are no maps there at all. There's like some descriptions of the yeah. property, right. and that's what's frustrating to us. We and don't we have, a have lot of skills. talked about that, and we have some people that have been have been alternates on there, but like we have Crystal Costa, but, but she, she can't make ended it. Ended up much. getting hired in a job and conquered, and so she has, hasn't been able so to. So has anyone do. taken a GPS unit and just walked the trails in Nottingham? Celia has done a lot. I, I've done only a little bit with my GPS, right, and just downloaded them. So Celia's done a, a bit, who was just here, Celia, who um, cause she used to be on the commission, and now she just does a lot of plant stuff and loves walking everywhere. So she takes her GPS unit, and then we'll just send us. on John's property. Yes, on John, she knows, like, the back of her hand. But she did do a little map from that right didn't she walk with you guys and and yeah. had downloaded so we do have a little bit from her um yeah. and certainly but some of that was not on trails it was just kind of walking through the okay. woods trying yeah. to see, see with, where, where we could where do might we trail. put a trail and and we could but right go. we need help in that area if you're That's volunteering definitely. we'd love to have you yeah involved. if you just <laughs> want to do like one piece like hey i'm interested in this and this is something that i think i could help out in that would you know yeah so um I'm actually the GIS analyst over at Rockingham Planning Commission, so okay. maps oh. and data. You live here? Yeah. Oh, oh wow. That's kind of all I do. And I'd actually tried to email the commission.
committee, the email they said was like cconservation2014 at gmail.com. Oh, the, the one we don't. Okay. And no one responded to me, which is why I came. <laughs> Thank so, you for coming. So I don't know if There's they need to change the email to something better. Something like a real one that people read well, every day. Or it could be like yeah. con conservation at nottingham.com. Go. And then someone's got to check it, which yeah. we hadn't been checking yeah. it, so it was yes. Because well, like, you have a main email, then you could you know sign maybe the IT person get it to bounce out to everyone's individual emails on the commission. Yeah, that's the problem because it goes somewhere, and then yeah. we're not checking that email, yeah. and that's so we apologize. Yeah, but no that worries. Is, I mean, that, that, that's why I came. Good to know. Thank that. you for coming. Yes, we need to get your contact info. Yeah, so I can give that to and provide. And we'll give you a couple of our advice emails. and stuff. Yeah. Uh, I know that, yeah, it's, it's charging maps is definitely something because it just takes, you have to build a time to somewhere, but that's why if you can have volunteers with GPS units and then there's a whole bunch of free stuff online. So I'm not suggesting that you don't use Stratford, but I'm suggesting that there's ways to reduce the cost to the town, mm -hmm. um, yeah. especially with data collection because data collection is one of the most expensive yeah. parts and mm -hmm. everyone has a phone so everyone can have a data collection app on their phone and then if you just get you know five people to walk it you can really fine-tune the actual path and then you can oh. upload the data online and you can have a whole web map for people to be because you know the town has the tax maps online now yeah but you can really so great. we can host those online too so well yeah. that would be really cool to Actually, do that, that. Would be fantastic. <laughs> yes absolutely well we've been talking about like oh look what other towns do yeah. we but don't we just, do that but we don't have the skills or the well, we, yeah, or to like get through, like I've taken some GIS classes, then I don't use it, and then I, you know, if you don't use it, you lose it. Yeah. Um, I'm not sure what software to put on my phone, you yeah. know, because I, I took like Yeah, so little... even that advice of like, yeah. hey, what what should we download yeah. onto our phone, and that sort of thing would be yeah. excellent. I almost think, because there's so much talk on like this trails and mapping thing, to have a separate meeting, just like a workshop. Yeah. We just probably on should that. Like set a, up a some evening trails that, committee and have um, you and then we can invite member. you especially yeah. to that like hey this is that way we could get we could just talk about that yeah. um, so I think that would be great so, yes we have dreams but not yeah. the, the know-how know. <laughs> yeah well, that's why I showed up because I think this stuff's cool so it, it, yeah we've got I so I don't know where the trails are so that's why yeah. And we have some new easements that we would like to put some, you know, a trail, a loop trail or something like that for access. The Kenneth property that he was talking about has, has a uh, woods road on there that could probably go into a trail and then maybe a loop at the, at the uh, southern end of the property. And then we have to think about, of course, parking or some sort of sign or yeah. information. Keeping it fairly simple. Yeah, and it's always something you can work on too. It doesn't need to be perfect. So you know, you get up some rec sites, and then you bring in people who are then going to do rec, and maybe spend some money too. Um, yeah. Gotta so, get your email. Yeah, you can just write that on there. That way, we can contact you, yeah. and we can. We don't have a suit here, but maybe we can do something like set up a workshop. So I was thinking, at least winter, we can get our minds around wrapped around. This that would be summer. fantastic. I'm really interested. Yeah, because I had spoken to Sue on doing some kind of workshop over the winter. And, and I mean, even, um, you know, meetings always get pushed out further and further and looking out. So, I mean, if there's even two people and me who could do like a demo day and we'll just do that day, we'll set up phones and then we'll go do a trail and then we can go get at least one up there. Like I said, a work in progress is better than nothing, yes. but at least mm -hmm. yes. then you get the ball rolling because I've, I've found that when we push meetings, you know, when meetings get winter and then it's cold and then maybe people don't want to go. Right. And you're like, we need to do, it'd be nice to do something, yeah. do two, one two, in the fall. Right, yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. Maybe we could start with Mulligan because the trails are yeah. mostly there and at least yeah, start with that, something that being easy. our largest property. Yeah. Well, and with some of this mapping stuff, you can make whole stories, and you can tie in information from the historical society. You can basically you can add pictures and stuff, so you can have oh. people do like virtual walking tours and all the stuff around town. So there's a lot more I don't want to. Yeah, take up no, that would be cool. Uh, anyway, so, my uh, my email is Samuel Demerit at AOL dot com. So if you want I don't actually have a a phone. Does anyone well, have a piece of paper? we can. You can, you know, you can 
Uh, I can email you, and I will email you our emails. Yeah, that'd be so perfect. Shoot in the loop. Yeah. And I'll let Sue know because Sue's would be very exciting. Sue yeah. Matthews okay. at t u t a mail dot com. Okay, got it. It's a new one for me. Okay. New one for most people. <laughs> See Matthews. See Matthews at t u t a mail dot com. T u t a mail. And I'll put you in dot our dot loop. Oh, okay. Okay. But that's exciting. Now, because if we can do one like Mulligan or North yeah. River, the North River is right across from the town. I don't know if you've been on that little trail. No, That'd be an easy, simple one to do because the one it's... one down here uh, by the bridge? Yeah. Right, yeah. Across, the, right exactly. across the road from here. Short yeah. trail. Oh, yeah. It's, you know... And well, there's a trail marker there, too. Yep. Yeah. Everything's there, and that'd be an easy one for us to start with. Yeah. 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 Bear, 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 Bear Park does have a map of that. Bear Park has a map of that one, yeah. Yeah. Oh, they do, yeah. right? Well, and we could. And that's the other thing is find. You know, there's probably trails that people have done. There's websites like All Trails that you can download data from. So you might not actually have to do this all yourself. Yeah. So like that one, we could pull from Bear Paw. Yeah. yeah. But so we'd have to get their I, I, permission I, I, to get exactly. it. Exactly. I'm mm -hmm. not sure that they got GPS coordinates on it. Yeah, that's what you, you need the GPS data because sometimes people make maps just by taking the aerial imagery and drawing pictures of where they think it is and mm -hmm. okay. you don't necessarily want to do that because a lot, sometimes people do download the route to their own GPS device so you don't want to lead people off trail. <laughs> Are you working with LiDAR and you know putting topographic maps together with the with this information? So, so we, we do have LiDAR data. We don't tend to use it too much other than um, for updating our digital elevation models. So for um, like the contour data that you see there, so yeah. Rockingham has contour data down to like two foot intervals, uh -huh. which is used for a lot of our coastal flooding stuff. Mm -hmm. But we don't, um, Rockingham Planning Commission doesn't do much with uh, trail networks. We're more of a um, because we're a metropolitan planning organization, it's more bicycle transportation maps transportation, and things like yeah. that. Yeah. But so I'm transportation slash GIS, but we really don't do much mm -hmm. um, trail stuff, which is why when I saw it that you guys were doing this, I was really interested because it's kind of missing from the, the planning world. Well, thank you for walking through the door and yeah, yeah uh, no, offering to give us yeah, some help. Definitely. That would be fantastic. We've been straight. There was one person who was going to help this summer. I think she was, was she a UNH person? But then she could never make any meeting. Yeah. And I, 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 I won't ever probably be able to make another Monday meeting. I just I swim on Mondays. So. Okay. But okay. I, I can always But if we could, like, if we set up. I, I work. work yeah. Day, so yeah. then, yeah, and I do but if we can set up, like, we can let you know about yeah. the workshop. So we'll yeah. do a trails and maps yeah. workshop yeah. thing. Yeah, even if you don't want to make it that formal and whatever. Yeah. Just get together with the yeah. Yeah. people. I was even thinking, like, a set, maybe things calm down on weekends. Because it is sometimes vote, nights I during the week. week. What's that? I vote for weekends. <laughs> well, yeah. even, even Forest Society, I don't know if you know, they do conservation walks, and they've done some in Lee. Um, and that usually can bring five to ten people. Yeah. So. Okay. Yeah, I've gone on some of the bear paw walks and some of the salt walks because yeah. they do a lot of those in the area, which yeah. are real nice. Yeah. Yep. Um, so certainly yeah. we could do that and right keep it informal. Whoever shows up and yeah. we can get you out there and yeah. get our phones and yeah. um, you know I I still use the hand I think. I think Celia has a handheld GPS, and I've got one where I just yeah. down, you know, I do the old-fashioned way. Yeah. There's a GPS unit and download it onto the computer, and I've done that. Yeah. So, yeah. We'll Being slow. able to put it into a nice yeah. map format yeah. that we would have online that would be useful to people would be yeah. great. Right. Yeah. So that's certainly helpful for us. That would be wonderful. So yeah. Maybe a trails committee meeting, we can nail down some of the details and kind of what you all want and maybe I can provide some advice on how you can get there. And, um, we might be able to meet another week, day, night, that isn't Monday? Mm -hmm. okay. Yeah. Okay. It's not Monday or Wednesday. Yeah. Okay. But I'm available by email. So. Yeah. Right. So we can, helpful. yeah, we can find right. out. Well, that's having yeah. you as a resource yeah. to yeah. join with the, our trail efforts would be. Yeah. That'll give us more motivation to yeah. move, move a little faster, maybe. Well, now I want to find where the trails are. Yes. <laughs> no, it's there a great way things. to explore the easements and all that, too. Yeah. We've got a lot around town. and You probably walked a lot in the state park. Yeah. yeah uh, have you been on the Oak, Oak Leaf Trail, I think it's called? 
if you start at the Fundy, okay. at the boat launch, and you go not down the Fundy Trail, but in the opposite direction. Is that from the southern entrance? That's the northern entrance. The northern entrance. Okay. Then yes, I have. I've been on the two northern because we bring our dogs, so we they don't let us in through the south during except during winter. Right. Right. Because I just finally walked the the Oak Leaf Trail, and no. it then connects mm -hmm. over to our conservation property there, the fertile property. The trail continues. Yes. On through. Yeah. And I can get there. Through, and we'll have to find out through the other fernal property. I go from the town beach. Oh, yeah, and I've and walked you go the other over. direction there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so maybe even some of those things that. Yeah, I wonder in the future because that is a snowmobile trail, but it goes through the other fernal, so that would need. Yeah, and they need, allow that. They allow snowmobiles. Public access. Mm -hmm. for public access. Walking. So we'd yeah. have to find out through, right, because that is just an alternative trail, and they fixed up the bridge on the. Side. So that's a nice little trail that I've gone on, but unofficial, <laughs> unofficial trails. But yes, but that does connect to a new easement that we have. So all very nice. Okay. All right. Okay. Back Sam, did we back ever finish the budget? No. Back to budget. <laughs> uh, item uh, line number eight uh, is the you know, trail development, oh. and I had 150 bucks in there last year. We haven't used any of it yet. I had 150 okay. bucks because we were figuring on making some maps and stuff mm -hmm. like that. Yep. So I think we ought to leave that in. Yes. Office supplies, uh, we had 30 budgeted. Um, we had spent five, and I know uh, Susan is uh, looking for some more uh, paper. <laughs> running out of paper. Yeah, because she does a lot of copying and all that, so. Yeah. So, so keep the so, so 30? Yeah, okay. Uh, <clears throat> equipment, uh, we had to replace our um, pop-up uh, this year. And we had 30 in the budget. We spent 60, so we took it from somewhere else. <laughs> Well, we got a deal, right? Yeah. Should we move that to 50 or keep it at 30? Or? I'd, I'd keep it at 30 because we okay. can move, move stuff around. I mean, uh, okay. we, had, we had budgeted uh, last year. Well, okay, let's go down through the rest of it. Uh, mileage, I had put in uh, 135. We haven't done any at this point. Uh, that no seems a lot. I, I, thought, I thought somebody had put in for mileage. I thought Sue did. I think Sue has in the past. I don't know if she did every time. But that we uh, thought there was <coughs> be some going up to the up to Pembroke for the. Uh, so what would you keep uh, that? I keep it because I mean we got. At How least much two, was that again? One hundred thirty-five. One thirty-five. Yeah. For yeah, mileage. Or do we, we want to? You know, maybe, maybe knock it down. Cut it to hundred. Let's cut it to hundred. That's not to hundred. Okay. I'll keep that at thirty. Let's, let's just use our cards. And uh, the water testing, uh, maintenance and support, uh, we had 100 in there. We didn't spend any yet. Well, should no, keep it in there. Uh, nobody bought any batteries or anything? Um, I did buy batteries. I guess I never, my never usual, submitted for I lost the receipt. <laughs> That's okay. what usually happens to well, me. Let's leave 100 in there because if we have to replace. Yeah. Anything, it's gonna be a lot more than 100. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and that's. that it? That's it. Okay. What, what did you get for a total order? I unfortunately don't have it in this spreadsheet. Oh, oh okay. Let's see, what do we have? We have 30 up here. 20 here. 25 here. 60 there. Oh, I'll check on that one. Publications, you know, leave that at 50. Um, keep that at 200. Actually, the only thing that should be, we dropped it down a little bit was the 30, 35 off of the mileage, so it should be take just the 35, so it's back to $2,000. You got two thousand. Yeah, I mean uh, the only thing we changed was the uh, 
Worth the mileage. I, I missed Went from 100 to, uh, I mean, from 135 to 100. And the total, yeah. total last year on the budget was 2035. Oh, I must have missed a 500 because I, I only got 1496. Conferences and conferences and training. I got that. I started with postage. What did you start? Did I miss something? Yeah, in there? postage, and then printing. Postage and printing, that's 15. And then dues was 560. 560. Conferences, 500. Publications, 50. Mapping, 200. Uh, River sign, 230. So Trails, so 150. Uh, Office supplies, 30. Equipment was, we were going to keep it 30, even though we spent 60 this year. Monitoring? Uh, well, the mileage was, uh, we were dropping from 135 to 100, and then they keeping the 100 in for the water. All right, yeah, no, I must have missed something. I must have missed it. Hmm. All right, 2000, yep, yep, got it. Okay. Sorry, you're better. <laughs> okay, I'll get that filled out for them. Okay, budget's done, that's done, that's done. Uh, we've talked about trail mapping. Yeah, we did. <laughs> we did. Now that Do we was need to talk any more about that? Or, uh, no, I think we just today. need to set up a um, subcommittee, yeah, okay. and that could be open to anybody, because yep. we can set up like a workshop committee. We've done that. Yeah. We did that with the open space thing, where yeah. anybody, you didn't have to be a conservation yeah. commission member, yeah. anybody can join. Well, you know, well, uh, Leanne has been. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, she's uh, another person, she's well, good. Walking the, Leanne uh, Gast has been helping us out too, so she yeah. may want to just be part of that. Um, uh, okay. okay. Well, she also helped with the water monitoring this year. She was yeah. involved. Okay. So we can just meet occasionally as needed. Okay. And, that's, and really, it's more hands-on okay. doing. I, I put down final roadside cleanup in 2017, but where the state went through and scraped everything down, at least on stage road, I don't know how they, they, they do it yet. They didn't do 156. Do, not yet, anyway. Not yet. What, what's the uh, stuff look like up there? Taking a look lately, or? Um, 156 doesn't look too bad. There's a few things, and I still need to pick up my portion, so <laughs> I'll pick up mine late, and there there will be that portion, so maybe okay. we don't okay. have to do. Okay, we'll wait and see what, see what it looks yeah, like yeah. after the next meeting. Uh, minutes we don't have, because pretty much here. The easement monitoring, we, do we need yeah. to come up with a schedule yeah. of? Yeah, uh, yeah. We'll look, at, look at the date uh, for that. Got to get to, I guess, go in and find out who the property owners, if they still are the same ones or, or what. Um, typically, the highlands we've done. Oh, we can't do that. Oh boy. The other thing you, if you would like to join us on a um, easement monitor, it's up to. It, it's just something. It's a way to walk a property if you are interested. We in do trails. tend to do that. On weekdays, though. Well, uh, one of, I do the friend one on the weekends. There's a couple we do do on the weekends. Oh, okay. I was on the friend one. I didn't remember it was a weekend. That's good. Thing. I can't go. I mean, yeah. Work, yeah. I can't yeah. go on during the week, so I usually do a Saturday or Sunday yeah. for that one. Um, um, Yanko. What are the other ones? Well, we got the Mendham's. Mendham's. East yeah. and West. Uh, you know, they've done some logging in there this year, so. Well, that'll be interesting to see what it looks like. Okay. Um, so, Mendham's, Friend. I figure usually we do these in November. Well, yeah, we start thinking about it now. By the time we get to it, it's November. Yeah. Friend property, I'll probably do in, no, in November, and I can just notify people. Right. Mm -hmm. So, and so, if anyone is interested in that one. Okay. Uh, so, some of our easements are not quite open to the public, although if you ask the landowners, they'd be more than happy to. Yeah, know, I mean, there are trails like in there, but I don't think they want to open that up to right. the public yeah. of walking. <clears throat> the, the, um, but it abuts other land that 
gives. Yeah, the friend okay. property is neat because that one abuts um, the big um, Harvey. Harvey land that was just um, conserved, which is like, what, 2,000 total acres? Because most of it's in Epping. Well, it's, no, it's, it's 200 in Nottingham. It's and 1,100. 1, 1, oh, all right, all right. So I'm exaggerating. Okay. I think it's 1,100. 200 in Nottingham and 900 in Epping. Okay. okay. And then you've got the uh, suites sweet, next to that. Right in there. And the Zanard. You know about oh, the that's, Zanard? That's, yeah, that no. is uh, owned by Salt now. Right. Is that Epping? I mean, we're not going to monitor that, no, but no. I'm just saying that it's neat because there's all this adjacent no, land. We don't have to monitor mm -hmm. any of it. We don't have to monitor it, but it's just same, nice to know that the they may be putting some trails on that. <clears throat> and is that's, that one's in Epping, the Zanard? No, the Zanard is in 70 right. acres in Nottingham. Oh, right. it is in yeah, Nottingham. Yeah, West Farm Road. Okay. Oh, see, I'm not familiar with that one at all. Right next to the Suites of Rowley. Okay. I think it's That's interesting. It's adjacent to Sweetser and uh, Harvey's Kennard Hill. So okay. They all wow. are so right really there I'd and very love close to, to investigate. To I mean, friends. those would be great little kind of let's go explore and do these, you know, to, yeah, because I'm not familiar with that. Okay. Uh, well, we need Sorry. at least a week to notify these people. Um, Should have asked Celia when she was here. She usually helps out on the Chernyanko. Yeah. yeah. Put her name in there. We can do this by email too. Yeah, okay. we can just email. Uh, the, the thing that we've got to watch out for is that the regular deer season opens up on the eighth of November. Exactly. Got my we, orange. We sweatshirt. try not to run into into yeah, the woods. Everybody's scouting them out now, and it's going to be really hard to get in there. <clears throat> uh, muzzle loading season opens up on the see, probably the twenty eighth of. October, but muzzle loaders, you don't have to, they only get one shot, <laughs> and they have to be fairly close so they can generally tell you, see, see you. It's the, uh, Is it archery season yet? Yeah. It opened up, uh, for deer, it opened up on uh, September 15th, and okay. runs through December 15th. Okay. I'm not an archer, so I don't know. All right, so we have, and then we have the Highlands. I never do the Highlands. I don't, I haven't, I, I didn't do the Hunter Ed for archery, so <laughs> if I want to do that, I got to take the whole Hunter Ed course over. Oh. <laughs> so we have Mendham's Friend, Trenyanko, Highlands. Um, do you do Kimball? Oh, yeah, yeah, no. Or do you uh, know, Bear Paw does that one? Well, we're, 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 we're supposed to monitor it. We are. Yeah, I think Bear Park goes in with their people, too. Oh, Kimball Family Forest we do? Yeah. Oh, that's right. You did it last year. Yeah, oh. but I won't do it this year. we got some changes in schedule. It's going to mean I'm going to be gone. Any others? Any others that I missed? Highlands, Kimball, Merriam Daggett? Do we have to do that one? No, that's, no. that's, that's uh, SRPC. Oh, okay. All right. In the same with uh, uh, Tasker. Okay. We, own, we own the pro the town owns the properties, but so someone else has to monitor. Do okay. Monitoring, we can right. go with them if they, unless they do it by air. Okay. All right. Well, which, which, uh, SRPC sometimes does. So there's so really it's Highlands and Mendham that yes. other people because I figure I can contact people about friend. Okay. I usually do that in November and just wear orange because there's. Yeah. Usually, there's no one okay. hunting in the friend property, but it m would be over at the okay, Harvey. I can... Okay, if I go into the town office building tomorrow, I can uh, run over those those lists. Uh, put together something, and maybe get it sent out on the by Thursday. So that would mean probably sometime after, maybe from the 30th on. With the 7th being the last day, unless we want to go in after December, well, from December 4th on. Check 
was 26 days. Uh, Is December 4th the last day of hunting season? Is that what he said? To say? I believe so. Okay. Of the, of the regular gun season. So December 8th, November 8th, December 4th, December 4th. December 4th. December 4th. Oh, okay. It's the 26 day season. Okay. Uh, we've done December on nice days too. Yeah. Okay. Um, the archers are still out there, but that's all. Yeah. Friend is one that I can do any time because there's usually no one hunting. Anyway, so it's maybe I should uh, propose some dates. Mm. Or we could do it by email. Okay. Yeah, with Sue out any. here because she normally helps out with hiring. Yes. Mendens. You can let me know, but the only time I can do Mendens is on a weekend. So. Okay. Um, I know last year you guys did them during the week. So. Yeah, because we were doing it with the Barrington Conservation. Right. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. You if you. <coughs> they own the. The Barrington has the easement on the east, just north of the part that we monitor. That's not public. The Mendems isn't typically public access, right? It's just an easement around those sites. Yeah. I, don't, I don't know. I haven't even looked at the uh, easement. Yeah. Okay. All right. Um, so. Okay. Uh, let me. Uh, typically, maybe we look at the. So if we don't get to some, we can decide in November and do those in December, you know, like a Kimball property or something. I'm going to be away a lot, actually, <laughs> in November, so I don't know. I'll try to help if I can. Well, yeah, anyway, I'm kind of, I'm kind of looking at the, uh, you know, that week of, the, of uh, October 30th through uh, the 3rd of November. Sixth and seventh of November for yeah, maybe the, like Thursday the second I could do so maybe it by, might be wiser with so many people missing to do some yeah. emailing back and yeah. forth. I don't okay. think we'll get anywhere okay with but, with yeah. deciding anything because okay, well, I don't do I'll, during the week and Sue and sometimes Cheryl picks up a morning she can go in later but she'll do that on occasion. Okay. Um, okay. Uh, let me go through some correspondence here. Uh, okay, this is the, the, the bear paw stuff for uh, the Kennard property uh, a invoice for the um, work that they've done so far. Uh, it comes to $7,951.50. Survey and easement document? Yep. Includes the cost of the survey to date, title search, project management, and document preparation. Uh, there may be some additional costs associated with completing and recording the survey. So I think we're still within the uh, 12500 that we were okay. uh, looking at. Okay. Okay. Um, <coughs> have a intent to cut it's map 28 lot 9 on Guile Road the acreage of the lot is 43.9 thank you so much be in touch thank you 40 43.9 acres and they're cutting five acres uh, the how many acres is it again 40 43.9 is the size of the lot and cutting five. Cutting five. Oh, okay. <coughs> Let me see if I can. Doesn't seem like much, so I'm not too worried about cutting five acres. Uh, let's see. What, what did I say? What did I say? That's map, map 28, lot 9. Oh, okay. On Guile Road. Okay, that's a, that's a good, good size. 
jump here. Right down from the end. Well, okay. It's it's from where the guile, you know, when when you come off of a stage road and go up guile, and then you get on what the original guile road there. It's right in front of you. Says maybe there may be an encroaching on the 50-foot conservation easement on O'Brien Drive. Anybody know where O'Brien Drive is? That came from a resident. Uh, I have no idea where it came from. It's not signed. No, a, a, an anonymous tip. Yeah. I don't even remember hearing O'Brien Drive from the voter registration list. Let's see if there's anything there. Mm -hmm. Pop into the town office and ask them. Well, okay. I got the I got the maps here. Yeah, I just maybe. Foot easement. Is this is it part of the Highlands or no? There's no. Or no, is it? No, no, I've no. never heard of O'Brien Drive. I've never heard of O'Brien Drive. Is it part of? Um, Unless it's in an abutting town, adjacent town, mm -hmm. or um, the land okay. is in Francesca. So this, it's not in that because that has a conservation piece in there, the Francesca Way area. Mm -hmm. Kayla, but that I don't know of an O'Brien Drive in there. But if if there is, that would make sense because those are little that little that easement piece. Mm. It's not in that area. Where is O'Brien Drive? Did you find it? Well, maybe it is there. That's kind of where I'm thinking. Yeah. yeah, that's probably it. This one that goes off of uh, yeah, it's up a Francesca way. Okay, yeah. that makes sense with those. Yeah, it's up in the back back corner of it. Okay. Yeah, just a little. The westerly section there. Uh, Francesco goes there. There's, oh, okay. And then there's something. Oh, Anna. Anna something way. And then this O'Brien way. Uh, Ayla way. Sorry. Oh, you. So it's not O'Brien Drive, it's O'Brien Way. Way. Shows a little bit where it is in relation to the cul de sac on Francesca. Oh, I'm trying to pull it up. Well, it's, it's probably a cul de sac of its own. Oh, yeah, it's its own cul de sac. Um, there's another one that has. Uh, yeah, no, there's two of them there. There's, there's something. They have like, circles at the bottom. Yeah. This one just dead ends. Yeah, there's actually three in there. There's Ayla Way, there's O'Brien Way, mm -hmm. and then there's uh, Anna something way. All right, well, I did. Okay, you know the general area then. I don't know who. I don't know about the conservation land behind there, though. Well, there is some. There is. There, there is some we conservation don't, land there. I don't know how. We much. don't monitor it. Who monitors that? Who's in charge of that easement? It's been. It, that was like our first. It, it was um, that when that development went in, this was when they could do the smaller lots and put in 
the conservation land. <clears throat> right. And when they did that, of course, it was where they placed it, of course, was where they couldn't build anyways. It was steep and so forth. So, um, but we were never, we weren't on there to monitor. And I don't know who is in charge because we always wondered about what happened to the vernal pools, what happened to this, what happened to that, because there was, I don't know who oversees that. So. it out ourselves and then let the um, easement holder know. So there's a Taylor way, an O'Brien way, Francesca way. That was Francesca Drive. Yeah, I thought it was. This too. map it's So it's off of Frans Francesco Way. I don't have my glasses tonight, so I'm. It's hard to say. It's, uh, uh, poor farms over here. Mm -hmm. Francesco Way kind of Taylor. weaves around yeah. like that. There's Taylor. There's O'Brien. And there's O'Brien. And there's oh, the Annalisa. Annalisa. It's off of Annalisa. Okay. Okay. Good. Yeah. Oh. Tag hadn't come up yet. Annalisa. It's off of Annalisa Way. Yeah. That's why. Kind of one of those off of something else. Okay. All right. Hmm. All right. Well, interesting. Guess we can just. How to investigate that? Because it's behind a house. You know, it's like it's one of those. It's kind of like Highlands where you've got to get. Got to figure out where that is. Well, we have to, yeah, and well, we have to, actually we probably should look at the um, registry of deeds to see what the limits of that. Mm -hmm. are. Yeah, we have to go back and okay. find yeah. out. A record search. Yeah, but I don't know if like RCCD holds that I kind of want to think that they were the easement holder and whether how good they are about monitoring don't know Most of us need to get out of here too. Yeah. What are you going to be working yeah. on this fall, Paul? I'm not going to be in state. It looks like I'm going to be in uh, Dauphin Island and part of Florida. So, huh. doing um, for the next few months? Yeah. Doing for biological next, research? Next month sure. or two, yeah. Oh, okay, so you won't even be around. So I'm, I might not be around. Okay. That's, that's the real I kicker think now. That's the Berry Road. Yes. Berry Road development, is it? That's the Francesca stuff. Okay. Well, when you return, I hope you're doing a lot of birding. You're on a bird thing and all that. Well, it's it's a good place to go for the November and December because mm -hmm. things are pretty crazy up here then. And yeah. I've always wanted to get away for Christmas, so that's cool. It seems like a good. Yeah. I went down to the uh, for about two weeks down to the uh, Wachita National Forest. And it's huge. It's two states, about a third of Arkansas, mm. and most of the mountain sections, and big part of. Oklahoma, and <clears throat> there's a lot of nice recreation areas with good fishing and mm. beautiful mm. areas. So they have a lot of, uh, I don't know what you call them, kind of like luxury cabins, kind of like a vacation oh, area. Really? For, okay. Yeah. So. Did you stay in the cabins? Yeah, you stay in the cabins, and <clears throat> they have like everything in there that you need, Wi-Fi. 
three bedrooms, four bedrooms, wow. saunas, and you know, so. Saunas. So, yeah. Sounds pretty. Yes, that's yeah. luxurious. And it's kind of it's kind of the national forest has a lot of interlocks into. So it's you know there's some things that I wanted to work on. And, Mm -hmm. Mostly wetland so, stuff. I couldn't make heads or tails out of that thing. Looks like it's mostly just wetland information. Oh. Yeah. So I think this might, I think we could be here all night investigating this, Sam, yeah. and a lot yeah. of us have to kind of go. Yeah, I'm going to have to run too, Sam. So. so I'm wondering, this is going to take a little this more. This is a separate, this is a separate thing that probably needs to be investigated in. We need to find out who. And then we can talk about it at the next meeting or something. No, I'll see or if I get some more information when I go to the tunnel office tomorrow. Okay, investigate this. And well, I think that's the. It is anonymous too, and it's it's hard to tell what. Yeah, maybe somebody's building a, a house in there and just. It could be anything. Or shed or something. Yeah, I mean, I I can do a swing by. I don't live that far from from yeah. this area, so I can just do a drive by to see, you know, what's up. Not that we can, I can't go off the road. We should make know. a note. We should make a note in the minute so that. I did. Yeah. No, but yeah. Yeah, if you get it on that thing, then that'll. Yeah. Okay. okay. Uh, do, do. Any other correspondence? Yeah, I got this. Is this something different or the same? Oak Street. Okay. What yeah, is Oak this? Street Road. Oh, okay. This is uh, uh, the piece on the west side of Smoke Street. Um, get the Harmons, the Elliots, here Boucher, and then this is. Fertile land there. He's doing a lot lighter adjustment. Uh, maybe the plot line is getting rid of that long line. And so. Probably so they can do some building in there. I don't, I don't know. Line adjustment so they can put a parcel in there. Proposed common drive. Talking about Brian Way? No, we're on the I was going to say that doesn't separate. seem like it's no, anywhere no, this near is the, Rose uh, Realty LLC. Yeah, this is, uh, if you're going, you remember where they put those new four new houses, four houses yep. on, mm -hmm. Brand on, new. Smoke on Smoke Street? On Smoke Street, yes, mm -hmm. I remember this that. This is further south okay. on the other side of the road. Oh. Um, let's see. Uh, Little River Road comes, one of the entrances to Little, Little River Road comes out on the, down below there. The other one might, I'm not sure what's close here. Oh, okay, this, oh, maybe it is. Can't leave till we, we yeah, need your, we need your vote for the I got two hours. I got important okay. help. Otherwise, we have to stay here. Okay, this is a firm land over here in the town of Nottingham, so this must be near the uh, gravel pit. Okay, yeah. <clears throat> Do we need to investigate this? Uh, it's just Walk a, it's it or just anything? A, just a lot line adjustment. So all of this is lot line adjustment to yeah. probably put some um, building lots behind uh, it? I'm, I'm, I'm guessing. But all we can do right now is we don't know because all they're doing is sending it to us for a lot line adjustment. Yeah. Normally, okay, so normally we wouldn't get something like this, would we? Unless it involved wetlands. Yeah. Uh, doesn't no, my just planning board would be in on this, but not us. That's why I'm kind of wondering, like, okay, lot line adjustment, but Sue might know more on this one. 
thing yeah. on the planning board. Yeah. Well, I'm just going to put in a question mark about my investment. And that's all. Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, we'll leave it at that. Anyway, and I, I sent this uh, over to Don in the town office about the uh, website. Well, the well the the contact. Well, not so much the terms of our. Uh, oh right, those are old. So. Terms to renew what? them. So people's yeah. old terms were still listed like expires oh, 2013 yeah. or something. Uh, when uh, they three of them in 16 and two of them in 17. Mm -hmm. uh, <clears throat> they've all been renewed. Extended, renewed. Yeah. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> Paul and I are up for renewal uh, in the spring. Yeah, and that's a new item because I'm going to try to go back to alternate. Okay. Because I think I can't keep up with the correspondence or the various activities. There's really too, too many. I almost can't keep up with the emails. And yeah. I've, been, I've been getting this cold again since I came back. So I'm going into the VA to do some more uh, tests and stuff. But I think um, at that point, um, I can write you a letter and say that, you know, if you're trying to get someone else to do a younger person because I may be close to the one of the oldest on there and I think a good idea would be to look on to uh, oh. well we need you're, your you're expertise not, you're not, probably not that far apart we yeah. need your expertise <clears throat> Paul on the 41? critters 40. yeah okay so you're one year older than me well yeah Right. Maybe maybe half a year. Yeah, <laughs> but I'm, uh, I'm well, on the tail, end, tail end of. So I'm, I'm feeling. Who's counting? <laughs> so anyway, uh, I, I what I think is best to let you know so that you yeah. can you can move forward with. Okay. And I can try to if you give me the date when that term expires, I can start to. Well, it'll be March. usually in March or April. March. Yeah, March that's or April what I was of, thinking. Of 2018. Yeah. Okay. So, so it sounded like Sue had a bunch of things going on too, so that's why I wanted to okay. send you an email. Yeah, I, I know. Uh, um, Ray, 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 Raylene, I think, is, is talking about reverting to alternate. alternate yeah. also. Yeah. And I think the, want to be alternates, but don't want. Yeah, it's it's tough. It is tough. I mean, I always yeah. even and somebody like, else who was an alternate will be chomping at the bit for you. I don't remember. I'm chomping at the bit, right? <laughs> <laughs> well, Liz has said she's wanted to remain alternate, you know, but we'd love to, yeah. So yeah. we'll see how. Well, I think it. I think it'd be good to get the people that maybe don't want but have the qualifications and then try to get some new people in like the person that we just talked to he said he could it. never make monday night yeah so. <laughs> i don't think he's but it's yeah. it's it's i think really if we can get people to be specialists and have these offshoots like for you paul if you okay can't make every meeting i'm busy um but to do these special things like obviously you're for birds and all that that you know, you've got expertise. Well, I think though. it's it's time consuming. Two of the projects that I'm doing relate directly to the Conservation Commission and trying to keep more data. And I just think when you look at the amount of time that it takes to do that and then do this and then fulfill your whatever meeting, voting, emails. Mm -hmm. And I think the biggest thing is the emails. Yeah. If you get 20, 20 something emails and you don't hit them for two days, then you just get. Whew. Yeah. When they're so, on a. So that's something to consider because the meetings, the meetings are where you get things done, and the emails can sidetrack you where you. Mm -hmm. have to I often just have to delete. Like, up. Oh, don't think that relates to me. Delete, delete. I mean, I get into you my have deleting to delete phase. I have to. Because like, okay, I get I think other things in to there, me. and I, I yeah. just have to, you know, yeah. I can't get to them for two days, so. Right, and then when you go away, it's even yeah, longer. Yeah, and then when you go away yeah. and you come back, get and it. you got 30 yeah. emails. You times. got 300 to go through. Yeah, yeah. so. Okay. And it's good to keep people informed, but it's it's really a monster. And especially if you have trouble with your computer and you go to the library. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
So that's what I've been trying to do, but you know, now I've got Wi-Fi in the house, but it's still, it's still a monster. Yes, no, I, I hear you, it's keeping up. I think we're all, on, um, I barely keep up with all my, I head up to Maine almost every weekend, so I'm not in work and I don't. Yeah, and then you come back on Monday or Tuesday, you know, you come back on Monday and then it's Monday like. Night, yeah. yeah, Sunday night. Yeah. yeah. And yeah. he has the, the correspondence to take care of. Yeah, so, so Sam we, has a lot. He's got a lot. And Sam has that. a lot, but it's just really hard to keep. So uh, I can send an email at least to confirm that. Okay. Uh, and keep trying. Okay. You would want to talk about town-owned lands? Well, yeah, we, we talked about it a little bit with Dan. It was the, the emails that were coming out of the New Hampshire uh, Land Trust Coalition trying to get the land trusts to be working with the municipalities to help update granite. Oh, okay, so they had you're... They had you know, a very specific set of things that they were hoping the towns could provide for them about each of our easements. Okay, conservation so this lands. Is more, only the easement properties. You're well, I know it said conservation lands, so uh, well, you know, well, we conservation lands. Much. But because um, because uh, the town owns a bunch of properties that are not under easement, under right? Easement but but we consider them conservation land. No, do we? No, no, no we don't. Uh, they they, they a, have a bunch. But like Miriam Daggett, we own that. We right? own that. That is conservation. But does it have an easement on it? Yeah. Yeah, okay. It is through uh, NRCS. Okay. Uh, the same way I've with started the, just with, to with the Tasca property. Just to let you know, I've been trying to make sense of all this because there's so many different properties and I'm just learning them. Um, so I've been trying to put together a spreadsheet okay. with information about them. And, um, you know, Cheryl a, has a spreadsheet. We have a spreadsheet with the information. Yeah, on I it. wondered if Cheryl did because well, she's. Maybe seen, she could, if you wouldn't mind asking we her, can, to send we can send that out to everybody. We can resend that. Because I had seen a really good one that Deerfield had done as part of their open space plan. And it had, you know, a lot of columns and a lot of information. And it, it specified, you know, who was the, we the owner that. or the grantor yeah. and we who was. That. Who had executory interest? Yeah. Who has? Yeah, we do have the the easement. What is the size? Where's the location? How much of it is in? Like for some Celia of these, Celia had worked on that a bit before she left the group too. But Cheryl then took over and was. Okay. So well, I don't know, but uh, let me look Peter for Randy that. Is there new ones like the Zanard the one? Map. He did the map, but this was a spreadsheet. Yeah. I do remember the spreadsheet on. Um, all the little pieces of information on each easement and who holds it and all that. We do have that. And I do remember Celia working on that but, too. But it probably needs to be updated and expanded. Yeah. So like Absolutely. let's say the the Harvey's um, Kennard Forest yeah. or whatever it is. Or, yeah. Um, yeah. That one there, this portion in Epic, that portion here. So yeah. if, that, nope. if we put that here and we say this, these are the number of acres in Nottingham, these are the number of acres in Epping. Because oh, like, we've got these other ones that are Partially in Deerfield, yeah, and so I've got a number of oh, acres oh, right. in yep. Deerfield, number the, uh, of acres in Nottingham. Uh, just Rosenfield, Mallet. Mm -hmm. Rosenfield. Yes, Rosenfield. yes, that's the one. <laughs> you know, um, yeah, two thirds of the property is in Nottingham, but the frontage is in Deerfield. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> no, nope, I've ne I've never stepped on. I think I went on one walk there and then never yeah. visited that. But I don't know if that has trails. I've... It doesn't have trails. That, uh, it uh is open to. Open to the public, but it's kind of restricted where you can get into the thing. I think they were looking at it as people coming in from the park to get to the, the ledges up in the back. Yeah. In the Nottingham side of the property, and uh, uh, they were having problems with people walking up their driveways to get access to the property. Yeah. And they have horses and stuff like that there, so. It would just be nice to have we a... We were road. hoping to have a, you know, a strip, you know, from the road, you know, along their boundary, you know, maybe a 20-foot mm -hmm. wide one that, that they, people could access the, the back section from there. Yeah, because yeah, the town uh, did, I forgot how much we paid for that. <coughs> well, we paid about... 60 We paid about half, and uh, Deerfield paid about half. Uh, Two-thirds of the property is in Nottingham, but the front half is... Well, all the fields and the stuff is in, mm -hmm. in Deerfield. Deerfield. Yeah, yeah. 
Yeah, yeah. 88, 88 acres total, 54 in Nottingham, 34 yeah. in Deerfield. Yeah. yeah, well, I can, I will send, I can look for that in my files, and then if I don't, I can also send between Celia and Cheryl, they should have, I don't know if Celia still has that information on her computer, mm -hmm. but Cheryl should have something, but I know Celia is into that, because she's kind of into the mapping granite, she's really good yeah. at granite, um, so uh, she was doing that for a bit, and she may have that just because it's an interest of her, so, but I will look to see what I have on that. That's interesting. Mm -hmm. Excelt owns a bunch of land up on the north side of um, uh, Pawtuckaway Lake, or up, mm. or up on the north north. Excelt does. Yeah, Celt Celt owns some land up there. Mm. I have the information on that at home. They have two parcels. In Raymond, maybe? No, no, or no, no. North at the north end. North end. Okay. Huh. It's um. I'll, I'll show you where. And we got to adjourn, but oh, yeah, we haven't officially adjourned. We have, I have to write down. Um, this Nine o'clock. Privately owned, actually. Do you ever remember Christopher Lydon from? Yeah. Okay. Okay, he owns that land. Okay. And a little bit of this land, and then there's land over. It might be this land here. Let's just see. Well, no, it's this actually. It doesn't even show it now. Well, some of that is... Uh, some of this in Nottingham now that is now owned by South. Well, the, the, the Rosemary yeah. Mallet property is up in here. Yeah, but there's also, there's yeah. additional land beyond. Uh, that's yeah. actually, so, that's that actually uh, right at the line. It's right at the line, yeah. Yeah, exactly. I've been in there. Have you so been in and, and hiked it? It's kind of irregular. It would be hard. There's a pond in there, and there's a real canyon with a high area. And yeah. that's how people try to get into that the section field. in back. Okay. And uh, some people use it for like the, access um, to that, that part of like the tuck away. And mm. this map doesn't show our easement here no. now. You know, there's a lot of things that just yeah. be nice to um, yeah. update. have an updated map. And I'm yeah. not sure to what extent we and need self to submit can, that information. Self can really so. help you on that because I think they have figures on how much of it is in, I, at, uh, in. Uh, I think they hold an easement. Deerfield. On, uh, I hold an easement on some property in here. Yeah, they do. Um, the, I'm trying to think of the. Yeah, I people, can't think people, of the name people, of it. People were, in, were from Candia. Yeah. Um, right. And they own the property in, in, in to the side of it. Yeah. On the road, yeah. on Deerfield Road, on Nottingham Road, I guess. Nottingham Road, Deerfield. Yeah. 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 Well, and now, if you look under um, in the town tax records for that, yeah. It, now at least was oh, the unless, state, unless, unless they, I as the actual Selt, owner of that property. Oh, they, may have, they may have bought it. I, I, I think don't know. there's still Selt a strip has, in there that that is owned by the somebody else. On, on what, uh, you know. How many acres and maps and the whole thing? Yeah. Anyway. That's where I got, you know, the original. And they're still getting a lot of new property. Yeah, the um, the uh, Fish and Wildlife there? has the uh, the USGS maps that you can, or, you know, the topographic maps that you can yeah. look at, and they've got all these different conservation lands scattered okay. around. Nottingham, and it's just, yeah. it's, it's pretty interesting. Mm. <laughs> we'll do a look at that. Um, are we all set? Oh, anybody else have anything else they want to bring up? Uh, just the last thing was, um, I had sent this, I'm sorry, the colors came out terribly because I'm <sighs> running out of ink, but I had sent this, a link to this um, right before the oh. meeting. Oh, yeah, I did. I, build, bridge building I thing for, for when trails. When is that? When is that? It's Saturday, October 28th, so I might try to go to that. It's $25. Okay. Is it just for part of a day or all day? It's um, 9 to 3.30. Oh. It's most of the day. It's most yeah. of the day because it's up in Bow, oh, near, up next in to Bow. Concord. It okay. looks interesting. I'll have to. It does. Um, if I go to this, um, get reimbursed for this? Yeah, thing? I think so. I think the, uh, we're into the trail bed building. Uh, okay. So yeah. We'll, uh, <laughs> yeah, that would be interesting. Should, should we, uh, should we uh, somebody want to make a motion? We. 
we expend funds to live. For me and maybe somebody yeah. else. Yeah, for myself, for, for Sue, or whoever this. wants to go. For two cool? folks to go. Yeah, we can carpool up there. there. Dollar, yeah, for whoever man wants to go. Trail oh. making, yeah. Okay. Uh, I, I, I move that we expend a whatever, whichever, whatever member, yeah. member, member workshop two. costs to okay. whoever needs to go to the workshop. Okay. Yeah. Somebody want to second that? I'll second it. Of course, I'm voting for myself. Any, any discussion? <laughs> All those in favor, say you're five by saying aye. 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 Anybody opposed? I think we have saying. I'll look at my email. Anybody else have anything else? I'd like to. I move that we end this meeting at 9.05. <laughs> I'll second that. <laughs>